Hello and welcome to the Corporate Governance and Ethics uh, Learning Session. Today we continue with the topic Environmental, Social and Corporate Governance Framework, the ESG Framework. And our today's focus is on the Social Audit, which is a subtopic. Social, social Audit is the third subtopic. And a social audit candidates in the context of the ESG framework is a systematic assessment of a company's social and ethical performance. It is a systematic assessment of a company's social and ethical performance. A social audit in the context of the ESG model uh, framework is a systematic assessment of a company's social and ethical performance. That's the meaning of a social audit in the context of the ESG model. And it involves the evaluation of a company's impact on its employees, impact it assesses the company's impact on employees. You understand? It assesses the company's impact or decisions on employees, customers, suppliers, communities, etc. What is the impact of the company's activities on employees, on customers, on the communities? and the other stakeholders. And such evaluation includes aspects such as labor practices. What are the company's labor practices? Human rights. All right. There are aspects like labor practices, uh, human rights, uh, issues to do with the community engagement community engagement, community engagement, social responsibility, uh, products, um, responsibility, um, stakeholders, engagement, product, responsibility, and so on. So that's what social audit entails. And what's the purpose? Purpose. Purpose of a social audit. Purpose. Why is it important for a company to carry out a systematic assessment of its uh, activities on the employees, customers, the community, and so on? What's the purpose of a social audit? One is to assess social impact. Assessment of social impact. Every company ought to carry out a social audit in order to assess its social impact, to evaluate the positive and negative social impacts of a company's operations, products, services, and so on. It's very important to assess the social impact. Two is to identify areas of improvement. It's important to carry out social audits in order to identify areas of improvement. All right? and also to make a more positive contribution to society. Three, enhance transparency, to enhance transparency and accountability. One reason is to enhance accountability and transparency. 
That means demonstrating the company's commitment to social responsibility and providing uh, transparent information to stakeholders about its social performance. Four, another reason is to build stakeholder trust. That's the fourth reason, to build stakeholder trust. Because engaging with stakeholders, addressing their concerns, and building, that helps in building trust by demonstrating commitment to responsible business practices. Building stakeholder trust. A social audit may also improve decision making. A social audit can improve decision making by providing valuable insights to inform decision making and strategy development. So these are the benefits of social audits. Components. What are the components of a social audit? The first component is scoping. One, scoping. This means defining the scope and objectives of the audit, identifying the stakeholders to, 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 to be involved, and also determining the key social issues to be assessed. That's the first component of a social audit, scoping. Define the scope and objectives of the audit. So an, a social audit will first of all uh, identify the scope and the objectives of the audit. Data collection number two, data collection collection of data. This is the gathering of relevant data and information for various sources such as internal documents, employee surveys, stakeholder interviews, community consultations, and so on. That's the second component, data collection. Three, data analysis. Data analysis is a third component, which is a analyzing the data that is collected to assess the company's social performance against relevant benchmarks, standards, and expectations. After analyzing data, then there is four reporting. After the data is analyzed, then there is a reporting. Preparing, this means preparing a comprehensive report that summarizes the findings, the conclusions, and also recommendations of the audit. Five, follow, follow up. Follow up. This is, uh, this may involve implementing the recommendations of the audit and tracking progress over time. So candidates, these are the components of a social audit. And social audits have uh, are increasingly becoming important here in Kenya as businesses and stakeholders recognize the importance of social responsibility. We've seen various companies carrying out social audits like the Kenya National Human Rights Commission, which has conducted social audits of various companies and industries to assess their human rights performance. We've had ISPA carrying out um, social audits uh, to provide guidance and promote their usage among Kenya businesses. Then non government organizations, we've also had some social audits being carried out by several NGOs uh, who are actively involved in conducting social audits and advocating for greater social responsibility. So, Candidates, there are many benefits, apart from what we've mentioned here, of uh, uh, social audits, because we know social audits can improve 
social performance by identifying and addressing social issues which can then lead to improvement in um, uh, well-being uh, can increase or improve commun community relations social audits can also uh, have an improvement in the overall social impact social audits can also enhance um, reputation because demonstrating social responsibility can enhance a company's reputation and brand image attracting customers investors uh, and also employees so here we can add enhance it can lead to enhanced the purpose is to enhance um corporate image another benefit is uh, these are, you can say, purpose or benefits. Another benefits, another benefit of uh, a social uh, audit could be seven risk mitigation, mitigation of risk. This is identifying and. Um, Addressing social risks can help companies avoid potential negative impacts on their operations, on their reputation and financial performance. Another benefit is in relation to stakeholder engagement. Stakeholder engagement. This means engaging stakeholders through the social audit process can build trust and improve relations. Nine is um, competitive advantage. Competitive advantage. A company can gain competitive advantage over competitors if it carries out a, a social audit. Companies with strong social performance can differentiate themselves from competitors and gain competitive advantage. So candidates, you can see that social audits, a social audit has many benefits and advantages. And that is the end of the lesson where we have tackled uh, one aspect or one subtopic of the ESG framework, which is the social audit. Here is your today's assignment <clears throat> on social audit number one. What is the purpose of a social audit and how does it differ from a financial audit? Two, what are the key steps involved in conducting a comprehensive social audit? Three, who are the primary stakeholders involved in a social audit process and what are their roles? Four, how can the findings of a social audit be used to improve a company's social performance and impact. Then five, what are some of the challenges and limitations of social auditing? That is it today's assignment. Bye.